I got something pretty awesome in the mail today. If you can see that, get a closer look there. Future baby quail. So I've got some in the incubator right now and uh, this was an impulse buy and I bought another 30 eggs. So I'll crack this open and let you see the shipping and that whole bit because it's kind of cool how they ship it. All right, so you can see there, I got first box open. They use the United States Postal Service, so that's a win. And then inside, they have another box. We'll put this guy open. All right. That open. Then you got these nice foam packing peanuts. And dig into there. And uh, they've got some really uh, thorough hatching guide here and it's got everything you need to know about hatching your myshire farm quail eggs so that's pretty nifty and then let's see if i can kind of dig in here a little bit hopefully you can see this all right so behind your packing peanuts i'll just show you a little peek there are your eggs packed in these little foam things. I don't know what you'd normally pack in there. I, I don't know, bullets or something. That's where my head went. So, I've got my 30 eggs in there and they're packed in there pretty tight. So, let's see if I can get this out of here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? So, I am a hoarder of sorts. And I saved my box from the last shipment because I thought, you never know when you might need a box and certainly might need some packing peanuts. So I'm gonna dump some of these into my other box. Okay, so I got my packing peanuts out of there. Now they ship this uh, priority and uh, I'm just gonna plug the postal service a little bit. When you ship priority, you get these uh, flat rate boxes come with, okay? So, but you can't just get this box and ship whatever the heck you want. The other thing is when you ship priority, uh, you get $50 insurance comes with it. All right, got this off. Now you can take a gander at all those eggs there. And I believe these are, Ah, I forgot what I bought. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I know I bought some reds. I might have bought just more of the tuxedos like I had. I don't know. Yoish. Guess I'll figure that out. All right. I'm going to pull this out. Gentle, gentle, gentle. So there's the eggs. I'm gonna set this on top of this. Okay. And then they're packing, like I said, it's really good. And then there's another layer of foam even underneath here. My last ones that I got, I only had one that was broke. And I don't I don't know how the heck it would have happened, but you know, it does happen. So they advise when you get your eggs, um, you unpack them, place them pointy side down. So my last ones, all of them came shipped pointy side down. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and then you let them set or settle for you know 12 to 24 hours. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need to find my, I've got rails for my old egg rotator. And that's what I used to set them in uh, last time. So these guys, they've got um, some information down here on where you can find them. Um, they, I know they have a YouTube channel um, and they have a website. Uh, they also have a Facebook group that I was already in 
and I didn't even realize it was theirs, but it's newbie quail lovers. So there's a lot of new quail people just like myself and then a lot of veterans as well that can uh, offer you some advice. So I'm gonna get these guys out and start letting them settle. I'm gonna get my incubator put together and heating up. So I've got two incubators and uh, one has the last batch that I've got and then the other one, obviously I'll get ready for these. So one's got an egg turner. Uh, one, I don't know what's going on with the egg turner. I couldn't get it to work last time, but we mostly use it for the chicken eggs, which are pretty easy to rotate. These, kind of a hassle. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so these are the rails that I was talking about. Um, these came from my uh, egg rotator. So I'm just gonna use them to put these guys in and uh, let them settle, okay? So it holds 20. Each one holds 20, I've got 30 eggs. So this is how I did it. I don't know if it's the right way or not, but I just give them a little push. And they're, like I said, they shipped them pointy side down. So that's good. Put that guy in there. They've got just tons of colors that they offer. Uh, I got these through their auction page and that's kind of fun. They do like little live auctions on Facebook. And uh, there's a little guy there. But they've, I can't believe all the varieties that they have. And these are the Caternix quail. And they've got the, the jumbos, yeah, all sorts of colors and stuff. I did ask about hatch rate since it's starting to get cold and they said they're still getting like a 75, 78% hatch rate on average. So, you know, Melissa talked about hatching your own eggs and I tried that. And on my first batch of quail eggs, I had like 10 or 11 and I did have one hatch. And unfortunately, a cat got into the farm room while we were gone and did as nature does. So I tried another batch of 15 and I did not have a single one hatch. I didn't even have any development. So I thought maybe they're not even fertile. You know, I don't really see I know I've got at least one rooster in there, and I don't really see a lot of action happening. Girls! And uh, so maybe I didn't have many fertile eggs, I don't know. So this will help me figure out if uh, something I'm doing or something, hey, cool it, or uh, something that my quail are not doing. All right, there's my 30 eggs. So I'm gonna put these in my cupboard to keep critters out of them. Between the cats and the dogs. The cats like to play with them, knock them down, and the dogs eat them. Although I've seen the cats eat them too. So, they're only playing, I promise. So I'm gonna set these and then uh, tomorrow evening, I will pop them in the incubator.